Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm on site here with Wayne Stevens, Director for OnGrade Machine Control. Wayne, you've been really busy on site for Shannon Side Civil Engineering and basically fitting not just their excavators, but also their dozers. And it's a mixed fleet here. So we've got a Komatsu 61 dozer here. We've got Hitachi excavators and we've also got excavators from Case. This is what a real site's all about, isn't it? All these different OEMs coming together, yep. but with the Leica MC1 machine control system. Tell me about the journey with Shannon side and also, you know, what you've been doing to help them uh, in their journey. So obviously we look after Shannon side, they're, uh, they're a Leica customer. Uh, they do mainly house building and residential sites. Uh, so we look after all their base stations and machine control kits. They own quite a lot of kit themselves, what they've, they've purchased themselves through other companies, uh, but we look after the higher fleet and all support. So basically they've got the machine control system, the in-cab kits are yeah. Leica ready. Yeah. So if they want to use Leica on this dozer, on any of their excavators, they can do so. But obviously when you get bigger sites and you get other equipment coming in, yeah. you can actually hire those units. That's a bit of difference, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's what people don't quite understand. Per job, you can hire the loot unit, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, if, if your machines are pre-enabled, we can we can come and, and fit a higher fleet uh, cab kit, what we call it, a cab kit. Uh, so we can fit that to any any machine that's pre-enabled. Uh, we've got over 150 Leica systems on our shelf, so we can we're pretty reactive. We've got seven lads on road, so we can we can two or three days we can be on site fitting any machine what's pre-enabled. So folks, the cab kit itself is obviously fitted to the machine, but there are components that Wayne talked about there that you actually hire in. So Wayne, what are those components? Obviously there's one up here, aren't there? Yeah, so we've got the two GPS receivers, uh, left and right. We've got the coil cables, uh, the screen itself, and the ICG, the measurement unit. Right, so what that means, folks, is you can be enabled for machine control, but not necessarily have to invest in the full system. And so you can uh, hire those units out, get them on yep. site, and then you literally plug and play. That's the beauty of the MC1 system. It's machine control one. Works same tablet in this as it would in the case, as it would in the Hitachi on site. So that really makes it more accessible, doesn't it, to yes. people once they're ready to yes. go? Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a big, uh, big market for it now. A lot of people are in their machines. Uh, fitted in the OEMs by Attachi, Case, uh, Komatsu, so then obviously they get to site and then they can ring us and we can come and just, just fit a cab kit. Uh, it only takes about 40 minutes to get a machine up and running then. Stephen, we've been talking about how you're using machine control here and how you've got a relationship with both Leica Geo Systems and OnGrade that's supporting you here, not just with the machine control but some of the surveying equipment as well. Tell me, why are you using it and why have you switched over? Now for me, it's uh, with the plots that we particularly work on, it's speed. We haven't got to wait for engineers to be coming out, marking out. We can just do it with the light control and uh, it's quick, efficient and uh, the drivers really like it and enjoy it. So you've got a number of drivers and a number of different machines. You've got a case here, you've got a, a Hitachi's, we've got Hyundai machines, all with the machine control on. Yeah. So different machines, but there's one tablet, one MC1 platform that you can literally yeah, just yeah. take out of. Yeah. How does that make a difference? Uh, it's just speed and it's everybody's working off the same unit and it's just quick and efficient. Okay, so how are you looking then at delivering uh, sort of better outcomes for your customers? And we've got red to white diesel has just changed over as well it's obviously all of this investment is aiming to to make things simpler yeah simpler and emissions as well and i think what we've really seen here today is the fact that the operators really love the the machines did you get some extra training there as well yeah a bit of training when they were set up originally my brother particularly he never used it before he had a bit of training and he picked it up really quickly and he enjoys it he wouldn't go without it now and what's the difference with having someone like OnGrade supporting the business on a day-to-day -day basis? Any issues we have, we call them up and they come straight out and sort it out and give us guidance wherever we need it. And that guidance, folks, is not just for the machine control on the machines, but it's also to help the guys understand how to actually flex their machines because you don't necessarily need machine control all of the time as a business. You've got some machines that are enabled uh, but don't need it, but then OnGrade can sort of hire that out Yeah, to yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly that. So how yeah. have you been working with that? Uh, we work with it digging foundations, so the machine driver can go to the area where he's going to be working and it'll have on the screen, it'll have the specific plot he's working on and he can just line himself up and 
and it'll show him all the lines and the dig depths, finished floor levels and stuff like that. So everything's on the screen for him. So it's a big site here and um, how long do you think it's going to take to do this site with the machine control compared to not using machine control? I'd say probably two and a half years to get this finished with like uh, without probably another six months maybe perhaps. So you're really saying six months difference that gets people in houses faster, that gets your client happier as well. And I guess all of that adds up to you getting these machines on other projects. Yes, exactly that. You were saying earlier about this whole rental piece. Yeah. You've actually got quite a lot on your rental fleet now. Why have you invested so much money in the rental fleet? Because there's a massive market for it. People don't want to invest in, it, in the kit. Uh, to have it, it doesn't work 365 days a year. Yeah. So you only need to hire it as of when you need it. So obviously it does as predominantly don't work in winter. So why would you own a kit to, to run in winter yeah. when you can just hire it when you need it? And so what would you say to people that are looking at this machine control marketplace? We, we've obviously seen Shannon side go really big on this. Yeah. And um, obviously people are going to be competing against Shannon side for projects. So, you know, having machine control gives you that competitive advantage, doesn't oh, it? It definitely gives you, yeah, the, the uptake on machine control is massive now because people are seeing the benefits. Uh, that, that there's, there's no downtime waiting for engineers. The information's in the screen constantly. Uh, I think even people now are winning work on the back of just having machine control. So the other thing really that you mentioned there is the fact that the machines have got there, but we've got a base station on here. That's because the connectivity on the site here needs to be absolutely precise for those grades and those levels. What is the importance of that base station, mate? So locating a base station obviously over a known point is, is pretty important to the site. Once that's set up, it obviously then that transmits location to the machines and that's what brings down the millimetre accuracy of the system. So yes, uh, a lot of companies are now running off uh, SIM cards and off network, uh, but on large projects like this, long term, you're always better with a base station. And I think Shannon Sy is definitely seeing the, uh, the benefit of a base station over a long duration. So what we're saying here, folks, is it's horses for courses really here. You've got the cab kit set up, the machine's ready to go. If you need that machine to be like a ready, that's, that's the way to do it. If you then need that machine to be available on 3D machine control on the MC1 system, you can either buy or hire the cab kit from Wayne and his team at OnGrade. But also remember to think about the setup of the site and the connectivity on the site. So we can send through GPS all of the 3D models and things like that. Those 3D models can then be sent back with real time data coming back for real time dig time, as they say. So we can see how much we've done in a day going back into that model as well. But also that base station can give you that level of accuracy and, and make sure that you've got all of those assets connected in a major site like this so there's lots of different advantages it's all about getting the right advice isn't it Wayne yes, to yeah, make definitely. it work for you isn't yeah, it yeah definitely having someone who can support you that's it that's it that's a key key advantage of it yeah definitely fantastic great to talk to you as ever Wayne I'll keep following your antics <laughs> on LinkedIn yeah. and uh, fantastic to see a big site like this fully connected that's what we all love cheers yeah. Wayne thank you cheers